As we wrap up Black History Month, I want to take a moment to share what it means to me and to all of us as an organization. Hello again, everybody. As you know, I'm Paul Schmidt. I'm the owner and creative video strategist for Unity's Multimedia. And I wanted to go into a little bit about what Black History Month means to me. If you know me and know me well, you know I grew up in a small town. And by growing up in a small town in which you weren't exposed to a lot of black history, actually you were exposed, it just was not taught, especially when I grew up. It was not really a month. A Martin Luther King Jr. Day, which is actually in January, wasn't a national holiday yet. So I was not, like I said, exposed to that part of what I've grown to know as not just black history, but American history. And I've always been interested in American history, always. When I was in uh, late junior high, early high school, I was given a tape, a cassette tape of the rap group Public Enemy. And one of the things that was key to that tape was the liner notes. And in the liner notes, if you know what a liner notes is, it has the lyrics to the songs and stuff. If you dove into what was being said in the songs, names and events and such were always brought up, then I didn't know who these people were that the MC Chuck D of Public Enemy was talking about, or the events. So I took it upon myself to learn who those folks were, why he was talking about these particular people in his songs. And from there, throughout the rest of my high school career, anytime I was given an assignment that included like an essay or anything like that, I would focus it on black history. I would search out for those folks and do that, learn about things that were not taught to me because it was part of history and American history, but it was a part of American history that I was not getting exposed to. And I carried that through and I carried that through college and so on, just trying to learn other aspects of history that I was not being exposed to and learning about different facets and different narratives. Moving forward into establishing my company and establishing how I wanted to tell stories, tell it from the perspectives and the narratives of those who we are putting on in front of the camera. That meant that there would be a lot of organizations that were black led, black owned, black founded, that allowed us to be able to share that story and that narrative. We really enjoy all the aspects that we get to record, but to be able to help share the stories that other folks may not know, may not hear about, I knew when I started my company that the focus was going to be on organizations that people don't really hear about and to really be able to illustrate and share the narrative from their perspective of why they do what they do and what their story is. And because I chose that method of storytelling, it really put us in front of folks who, in organizations that are black founded, black owned, black led. It carried forward a lot of what I chose to put myself in front of. So all in all, when it comes to Black History Month, we're very proud of the stories we're able to tell with the folks that we've been able to communicate with and share their experiences, what drives them, and the positive impacts that they are making within their community. That is the goal of what we do. We're very proud of who we've worked with and we, we hold that in high regard. Our biggest strength is something that I started with a long time ago and has carried it forward, is to be that tool that is able to capture the narrative, is able to amplify the voice of those organizations that may not have been heard from. That is exactly where we want to position ourselves. Now we want to hear from you. If there's an organization or person which you find a compelling story of, we would like to be able to work with them to make sure it happens. So join our email list, subscribe to our blog and our YouTube channel, follow us all on social media, like this video, and let us know in the comments below who you feel would benefit from the way we tell stories. Because as you know, there's always another story to tell. See you next time. Oh,